This is Rob, aka Anomaly, and back for another interesting video. Alright, so you guys may be wondering what this video is all about. Well, I'll tell you guys. Um, the, as you guys can see from the video description, this is uh, part 7, Jason from Once Customs uh, Breakdown. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to highlight um, just some of the controversies and some of the, I guess, uh, confusion regarding this figure, you know, versus the different years, 2016, 17, 18, 19, up until this point, why some of these Jasons look so differently uh, from one another and, and why um, I have two of them myself and, you know, what this figure really means to me. I'm going to try to make this video as quick and concise as possible while hopefully providing some type of uh, educational uh, aspect behind this. Um, the part seven, Jason, to the left <clears throat> is a uh, shout out to the person you know who you are, who I got this from. It's 2019 uh, uh, part seven, Jason. Uh, then the Jason to the right, shout out to my boy, Bobby, uh, who graciously, uh, you know, recently just sold this to me because he's uh, getting uh, on the new run. We'll, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, this is a 2020 variant, Jason. So, <clears throat> You know, right off the rip, let's just talk about, um, you know, what these Jasons are all about. <clears throat> In my opinion, the Part 7 Jason is, the, you know, is one of the most complicated figures in 1.6. Uh, just by the fact that you don't see him from anybody. You know, I've been in this hobby almost seven years and pretty much since the inception of uh, One's Customs when he started back in early as 2009, you just never saw anyone really uh, attempt to do these figures uh, to the extent that Ones does at the level that he does them at. And Ones didn't really perfect the formula in my opinion and from my taste up until maybe 2018, maybe 20, even 2019. Um, he just evolved as an artist and came up with some new techniques and, and you know, he's the only guy that's doing them. So a lot of people may ask, you know, why all these Jasons look very different from one another from year to year. And, uh, you know, uh, Joe Bratton, you know, already talked about this in his unboxing of this Jason to your left, actually, because this was his finger originally. You know, basically that just comes down to, you know, the artist uh, coming up with different techniques. You know, prior he would, you know, sculpt the bodies from scratch, from head to toe, no casted parts. And now, you know, and then he, you know, started doing uh, front pieces and back pieces. And then he started doing arms and legs and kneecap uh, pre-casted parts and sculpting around them. And that's pretty much what we have right now and why these Jasons look the way that they look because they're more uniform. It's because he's using casted parts and simply sculpting around them. And that gives him the liberty to still make these Jasons look pretty different from one another, as you guys see with these Jasons. Um, because he can sculpt and, you know, dictate, you know, how he wants the body structure to look or the waist and, you know, how he wants the clothing to fit, etc. So, as you guys can see again, I, ha I do have two Part 7 Jasons. I have another burnt uh, Jason on the way. I say another one because I had the only one that one's ever made and I recently sold it. Shout out to Dan Terezo. He has that. So, that's an OG piece and will forever be... Uh, you know, a great uh, Jason, and I'm glad that he has it in his collection. So what I want to do, <coughs> again, quickly, is um, <coughs> go over some of the details of, of these figures. I was originally going to do a review for the Part 7 Jason to the left and to the right, but I was like, you know what? I may as well just talk about both of these Jasons and why I love them so much, and, uh, and, and also provide some uh, additional information. So... I'm gonna show these figures off from various angles and perspectives and and talk about why I love them so much, all right? So before we start showing angles and stuff, and well, even before any of all that, I'm gonna uh, talk about the upcoming runs uh, towards the end of the video. So, so question, so why do I have two part sevens, okay? Again, part seven Jason is, again, one of the most complex figures in the hobby. I am very particular, I'm very OCD, if you guys know how I roll and how I collect. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, One's Customs has done a lot of Jasons in the past, and uh, some have resonated with me, some have resonated and some haven't. But again, with his upcoming new skill set, um, 
you know, if I see something that really captures my eye, I'm like, you know what, I gotta be on it because the Part 7 Jason is the reason why I got into this hobby primarily. And um, these two Jasons that you guys see right here represent my taste and what I look for in a Part 7 Jason. So, question is, is what do I look for in a Part 7 Jason? I want a Part 7 Jason that obviously is movie accurate. Um, I want a Part 7 Jason that is um, that has a proper structure that looks like a human and um, that has details, great sculpting, great paint, great tailoring, and that you can obviously tell was done um, from an artistic perspective and with a lot of attention to uh, details. And I'll share what some of those details are that I'm talking about. So again, <laughs> I'm gonna pan in with the camera and I'm gonna talk about these Jasons and show some more up closeness for you guys and uh and we'll see what's popping all right let's do it guys so let's start from the bottom here and show off these two jasons here so so you know things what i look for for instance is i like you know tailoring is obviously very important to me if you guys can notice there's very two distinct styles here in the tailoring um and this application adjacent to the left we have a little bit more of a weathered and grimy look, uh, partially wet look. And the material here looks thinner to my eye than this material. This material looks slightly thicker. And that really plays into how the clothes sit and lay on the figure. As you can see, uh, as with all these Jasons, the clothes are tattered up, cut up. And um, with this particular Jason, what I like about it and uh, this Jason, I mean, looking at the uh, clothing and the pants, you know, it looks like they were cut up with an artistic um, intention in mind, not just simply on a random basis, if that makes any sense. You know, you could tell there was a lot of time and attention uh, given to every cut, every tear, um, you know, in conjunction with the exposure points to have everything sit and flow a certain way and look a certain way. And I like the fact that on both these Jasons, the pants are draping. Got to be draping, no high waters. You know, boots that are lightly weathered, but not overly weathered. Um, again, same on this application. We got more of a brown application here on these. I think in the movie, the boots were actually brown. So these are probably a little more movie accurate. But again, with these pants, you got a lot of frills, a lot of tattering, and they look highly, highly dis dishuffled. And again, to me, it, it, it just creates a very artistic look. And uh, it's, it's a really cool look, and that's what I love about this Jason. But again, I love this Jason too as well. It's just a different artistic take. Again, so we got the machetes right here. Pretty much no difference there, just some minor differences in uh, weathering and stuff, but nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, and go to the torso area you can see that one shredded up the clothes a little bit differently than on this application again on this application you can see that the figures is not as uh, not as weathered and doesn't have as much of a wet look but nonetheless the figure is exceptionally detailed and the clothing is uh, just so magnificently um, cut up again with purpose and with strategic intent in my opinion from what I'm seeing especially compared to some of the other Jasons that I've seen. And, you know, again, I look for a Jason that is sculpted very nicely and painted well with deep paint details. You guys can see here, and again, on these, these are the new hands from ones, which I love a lot. I like the bony uh, digit showing. Again, really nice. Uh, and the lights drown it out a little bit, but you know, really nice paint applications, ultra realistic, completely different paint scheme here than um, than on this Jason. This Jason has more of a rotted look, in my opinion, gang green, even though it may not look like that in the in the light in the camera. This has more of a reddish, fleshy type of look, less rotted per se. And uh, this Jason right here has a uh, some, some exposure points, as you can clearly see, like on the knees and the femur and the right leg and the arms. And then even when you look at the chest, 
you know, you see a lot of ribs and stuff, and, you know, we'll turn these guys over to some angles shortly. But here, you know, the exposure points on this Jason are a lot more aggressive and showing a lot more. You got those sculpted kneecaps, which I love. And then the ribs over here are a little bit different than what you see here. Um, you know, not for better or worse, just different, you know, just different. Both of them have amazing structures. You know, they're built very nicely. Love the way the shoulder structures are. You know, nice refrigerated look on this one. Well, this one has a refrigerated look too, but it's just have more of a, um, I don't know, more of a pointed arch. I just, I just love the way it looks structurally. Again, and hopefully the light doesn't dry out the details of this mask. This is a more movie accurate uh, mask, if you ask me. And I don't know how the light's making it look. And this one I'm gonna rock without the mask. Just gonna rock them gritty. Dude looks mean as fuck. So, this figure right here is a little bit wider, a little bit girthier. They're both basically the same height. Again, a little bit more detail. And exposure points on this one. The clothing is filled up a little differently, different colors of the outfit, um, different paint scheme, but both are just done very, very well at a very high level. All right, let's get a little close up of the face. Let's get a close up of this face. Okay, look at that. It's just so, um, just love the presentations on these guys. They're really two great looking figures. And let's get a perspective, guys. And let's show off some angles. All right, guys, so this is how we look in from the side angles, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, look how beefy and look how imposing these Jasons are. And a lot of this is attributed to, again, one doing the casted separate pieces for the chest, for the back, for the arms, for the legs, and for the knees and the shins, etc., and then sculpt using that as a foundation and sculpting around the perimeter of the casted parts and making it to his liking and it you know gives the jasons uh, their own unique look and uh structure and um the way these figures look from these side angles is just absolutely stunning and it's a pure work of art and this is what i look for again in these jasons and this is something that you only see in the newer versions i would say 2019 and up but again they do vary a lot because of the process that i just mentioned but again what i'm looking for is clothing that is tattered and frayed and uh that fits appropriately to the body that hangs and, and flows a certain way that's not too loose that's not too tight and everything that I'm describing is demonstrated in these two figures, and thus why I own them. Um, again, I'm very, very particular, and um, I'm not going to own a figure if it doesn't meet my specifications down to the T. So it's taken me almost seven years in this hobby to finally uh, find some Jasons that I was content with because there's just so many of them, but they look so different from one another. So again, this is just what I'm looking for. Um, on these angles, you can see exposure points, you can see the ribs, you can see thickness, you can see the back. Um, <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do uh, quickly is I'm just gonna do some up closes for you guys, okay? Break this down. All right, guys, so here we go. Just very quickly, let's take a look at these draping pants and see how they differ from figure to figure again i just love how um how these figures were done man and got lots of detail you know brilliant brilliant sculpting and uh again guys these figures are not easy to do man no one in the entire hobby or in the world has been able to do it like one I think the figure to the right is probably a, maybe a hair beefier, if you ask me. And this is how we look at it from the side angle. Beautifully sculpted, awesome details, and nicely painted. And this is how we look at the mask. I'm not gonna take off the mask on this one because it's the same head. The paint's a little deeper on this head though, but you know, essentially the same thing. 
you know, this is what we got, guys. We'll look, you know, we'll take a look at some additional angles coming up. Right, guys, this is how we look from behind. And these figures, again, from behind, every angle that you look at these figures, they look uh, beefy, uh, incredibly uh, broad shouldered, um, just thick, monstrous, highly imposing. And again, for my particular taste, <clears throat> You know, in the part seven, you know, I like to see the details. I like to see a detailed back. I like to see flesh hanging off the ribs, as you can see more on the uh, right. Uh, you can see a little bit of that on the left. You know, you see the shoulder blades and the spinal columns and the spinal processes. And again, from behind, um, very, very beautifully detailed clothing that was done meticulously. All Every single cut, fray, tatter, is meticulously done um not on all the applications it depends on you know the amount of money that you're paying because you know these there's, there's different price brackets for these jasons in the past um, some of them you know went for as low as 1800 and as high as four thousand dollars so obviously if you're spending four thousand dollars one is going to put more time and effort towards your piece and um <clears throat> and that's what you're looking at over here so <clears throat> again this is what i look for and uh, I think, uh, you know, it's just absolutely phenomenal works of art here. So I'm going to show you guys some up closest right now. Behind. Again, differences in uh, the way the clothing's done, but very, very similar. Different color. Um, one's a little bit more wet, wetter looking than the other. One just looks more jacked up. And again, guys, look at these details, man. Details, guys. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Sculpted ribs, shoulder blades, the back of the head. Yeah, you got the lower back details. You got details behind the arm showing. Just these are the little details that that really matter to me. You got a little exposure point right there. Again, I think this one is a little bit more of a movie accurate one. And thus the reason why I wanted two, because I wanted one that was a little bit more movie accurate, less exposure points, and just not as um, frayed and tattered. And, and this one right here is just a more extreme one, in my opinion, a more, much more detailed one. So let's take a perspective again, and let's see some additional angles. So again, uh, these figures are looking very, very thick, very, very beastly um, from this angle right here. And uh, on both of them, you see just a significant amount of detail, uh, surprisingly more detail on the left one than on the right, even though the figure on the right is more detailed overall than the other one. Again, I can't emphasize enough, this is the reason why I own two of these Jasons, because one, I love one's custom sculpted, fully sculpted figures, and two, because I'm so particular in what I'm looking for, I'd rather if I, you know, if I see something that meets my criteria, I'm just gonna hop on it. So with these two Jasons, I definitely got my Jason fix. And other than my burn Jason that I have coming in a few weeks, I really should be good for this particular character. And again, um, if this character wasn't so difficult to make, and if there, if it wasn't so rare to see one that is really, really good at this level right here. Um, I wouldn't feel the urge to own two of them, but again, as you guys can see, man, it just doesn't get any better than this. One has completely perfected this formula, and if you're patient with him and you're willing to pay the premium, hopefully you can get something that's on this level. And I'm going to show some more up closes of the of these uh, figures too from this angle. So once again, I was just going to zoom in right quick. Again, look at all that that. Uh, Drapeness. I love. I love when the pants drape and uh, look appropriate. Again, I can't overemphasize how much I love all the fraying that one did on this uh, particular outfit. Again, you know, got a nice machete that's been bloodied out very nicely. Pretty damn cool. It's very shiny. So again, and look at these details, guys. Look how beefy this guy is. Look at all those individual, like almost like veilless hairs, they almost look like, but they're like all these little tiny tatters and frays that pop up 
throughout the arm and on the outfit. Again, that's attention to detail, guys. That is not random. That is strategically, individually done with a purpose to create a, a particular look. Again, you're only gonna get that on the Jasons that are that are paid a premium. You're not gonna get that in the Jason that's on the lower scale of the uh, pay scale, I guess, cost scale. Again, you get a lot of detail. Look at those ribs, the blood. Again, not as detailed on this particular angle, but again, machete is bloody nicely too. It's very shiny, so it's hard to get a focus on it, but again, look at those shoulders, man. Top, top chest heavy. Again, look at up close to the sculpts. Very deep, very deep paint on this mask. Very movie accurate. I think once was watching the movie, literally as he was painting it, I was told. So let's get a perspective, guys. This is what we're looking at, guys. My opinion, some of the best parts, right, guys. So this is gonna be the conclusion of uh, the part seven breakdown video. So let's do a quick recap. So question, why do I own two part seven Jasons? I own two part seven Jasons because I absolutely love the character um, and I appreciate the artistic uh, complexity of this figure in the one six hobby as I personally believe and with talking to one on the phone personally that this is the most complex figure in one six besides the Hobo Myers in, in, in the entire one six horror sector uh, to um, just wanted to recap again that once customs is and Paul Manzi, uh, the AKA the Stress Labs, will be doing another uh, part seven run. It's going to be a limited run. It's going to be a little bit more pricier than the prior runs, but it's going to include everything a full diorama, all accessories, various amount of weapons, multiple heads, a sleeping bag, a full diorama, the works. So if you're interested in getting a part seven on this level, or greater then I would definitely hop on that run when it's announced there's only it's gonna be a very limited run probably of uh, five to ten maybe and then he's gonna retire this figure for quite some time because there's just too many other projects down the pipeline and he's you know been making a lot of these lately so and uh, what are some other things I want to clear up lastly again um, you know when it comes to these figures there's really no such thing as the best figure it all comes down to preference obviously when it comes to paint and sculpting quality um, you know that is probably more objective than anything but when it comes to just overall how these figures look you know it's pretty uh, subjective or, or preference so for my taste and for what I've seen I've seen about 14 of these things in hand and I've studied hundreds of hundreds of pictures throughout the years of, of this particular figure and in my opinion uh, these are the ones that uh, most attract in my eye and thus why I own them so again I wanted to kind of just break this down a little bit give you guys a little bit of hindsight and give an opportunity to show off these figures because I think it would be a travesty to not show off uh, these figures and I uh, hope that this video has taught you something and if you guys have any additional questions or if there's anything that I missed regarding these figures just shoot me up just hit me up shoot me an email or hit me up on Facebook and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions so this will do it until my next uh, review till then peace